my next guests are back uh, on our screens today for the wonderful third series of Trying. Uh, Rafe Spall and Esther Smith star in the heartwarming drama and it's all about the realities of adoption. It's just the chemistry between you is so sweet and so natural. Uh, Rafe Spall and Esther Smith join me now. And do, if you haven't picked up on the third series, all three seasons are on there. And what, what joy has this brought to your life doing this show? Because it feels... It's a difficult topic, but it's so hopeful and so joyful. And Esther, particularly your character, is just like this eternal optimist. Yeah, yeah. Well, I think that's the beauty of the show. The whole show feels fairly optimistic and there is so much joy in it. And it's particularly when the show came out, which was, you know, during the pandemic, it felt like it was a real moment uh, well, just really needed, I think. Just this real lovely shot of love and joy and... Yeah, and we love making it, Well, because we? it's about two people that are just trying to do the right thing, mm. and I think most people watching would identify with that. <laughs> yeah. Because we're all just trying to do the right thing, and they're good people. Um, they, they decide that they want to adopt because they're not blessed with the ability to naturally conceive. And then the first three seasons, first two seasons, are charting the arduous process. So in the third season, we get to the point where they are um, uh, been matched with not one, but two kids. Yes, by accident, sort by of accident. thing. We won't yeah, give it all yeah. away. But what I really enjoyed about the sort of the whole story is just the sort of the shock of like the things that if you're trying to adopt the kind of invasive nature that it goes into in your life and you, and the sort of all the internal battles about are we good enough? Mm. Are we rich enough? Yeah. You know, are we cultured enough? Yeah, it's a real kind of kind of route through your knicker drawer, really. Yeah, it really <laughs> is. And I think that pe have people have responded really well to it, haven't they? People who are actually going through adoption or have been through it, is that yeah, right? Yeah, we have, like, um, a lot of people kind of get in touch with us. Like, it's one of the joys of social media is that you can have that instant dialogue with people that want to get in contact with you. And particularly people that have been through the process or are going through the process, they um, share their stories and it's so lovely to be entrusted with that um, because they're such personal experiences and they're hard experiences, I think. And it just shows... Yeah, it gives people an opportunity to not feel alone, I think, with it, which is And it's lovely. funny as well. Yeah. That's what I love. It's just, it's silly and funny. Well, it is funny, but, that, but Rambi, that's, you know, that's my experience of life, is when it, whenever situations get difficult, I turn to humour. Yeah. I think it's a very human thing. Um, it's to find the levity in the dark moments. It's a way of coping. And this show does deal with a very difficult subject matter, uh, which causes a lot of pain to a lot of people. Absolutely. But um, it's all, all served up with a sort of bit of sugar of comedy, and uh, which makes it a really lovely watch. A lot of people say this show is like a sort of a hug or a warm bath. It bar. really is. Mm. And what's lovely, of course, people will know that uh, your relationship with your dad, Timmy Spall, mm. I mean, uh, people of a, uh, my generation older will have grown up watching him. Mm. Um, what's your relationship like with your dad? I mean, it's very close, isn't it? Yeah, look, he's a, he's a wonderful person. He's a national treasure, uh, someone that I'm incredibly proud of. And he's just a good man and he's always been very proud of me and has always, always engendered a, a, a feeling in me and both my sisters that oh. whatever we did was enough, you know? Uh, and that's something I like to take on with my own kids and um, that, that no matter who you are, it's OK. And that's what I think Nikki and Jason want to imbue in their children, that... Um, that you are enough, that you're, you know, not that I'm an actor or I'm on TV, that doesn't matter. You know, because both of my sisters don't do this. Exactly. Uh, and, uh, you know, my, one sister's a primary school teacher, the other one um, owns a shop in Forest Hill. And um, it was just always, everything was allowed in terms, as long as we were happy and as long as we were being ourselves. And I think that's really important. And talking about being yourself, I know that it, your accent in the show is actually a very endearing, very warm accent, but it is your own. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's yeah. me. <laughs> but you say that that's quite important to you. It's, uh, yeah, I think, you know, I'm really proud of where I've come from, which is at um, Stourbridge in the Black Country. And I just don't think it's necessarily, that area is not really represented much on television. You mean in terms of the sound? Yeah. Yeah, the sound or kind of... Well, just the Midlands in general. Midlands, you don't hear that many yeah. Midlands accents on TV, I think. You, you hear Scouse accents, here, North East yeah. accents, yeah, yeah, don't you? you? Do. Yeah. But you're right about that in terms of the sort of the middle ground there. Yeah. We don't really hear about it. And it's such a rich, beautiful area. Like, there's so much history to that area. Yeah, I'm really proud to be from there. And, yeah, I just... Yeah, I'm really glad that I get to show that in this show well um, it is yeah. a wonderful show congratulations on it and i can just say for me i watched you on uh, watched you on stage recently in to kill a mockingbird which you're still just at the tail end of doing you must be utterly exhausted I've got, <laughs> I've got three weeks left i've done about 100 and 
60 shows by this point. So it's good. Yeah, there, there, there I am. Look, doing, it's doing an acting. outstanding. Do you know what? These are actually Atticus Finch's glasses. You're I, just I, nicking props I, now I towards the end of the show. Night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I it's like wonderful. Them, so thank Great you so to much. have you both, and congratulations you. on what is just such a sweet natured and informative show and warm and cuddly, like you say, uh, but covers a really interesting and serious topic. Um, season three of Trying is available to watch on Apple TV Plus from today. Don't forget, you can watch full episodes of Lorraine on the ITV Hub and all the best clips, compilations and playlists right here on our channel. Just subscribe now and you'll never miss an upload. Click here to watch another video similar to this one or click here to head to our channel's homepage to explore all of our exciting videos.